Hey, my loves. Um, so today we're going to do our content lesson and we are on lesson eight and we are going to actually start preparing ourselves to write about animals and how they depend on trees. So if you could take aim for me, I would love that. I can prepare for writing by creating notes on how animals depend on trees. And I can, I'm gonna change this one a little bit. I can share my notes with Miss Ewan and with my mommy and daddy and ask questions about how animals depend on trees. Let your arrows go. So today we're gonna actually sing a song. I came up with this song, it's really cute. Um, it's about how animals and people depend on trees. And I want you guys to sing with me. I'm gonna sing it twice and I'll do some gestures so you guys can memorize the song, okay? Here we go. We depend on tree. <laughs> what is with me sneezing? We depend on trees. We depend on trees. We eat fruits, nuts, and chocolates. We depend on trees. Caterpillars depend on trees. Caterpillars depend on trees. They munch on leaves just as they please. Caterpillars depend on trees. Deer depend on trees. Deer depend on trees. They feed on bark in day or dark. Deer depend on trees. Squirrels depend on trees. Squirrels depend on trees. They scarf down seeds and nuts with ease. Squirrels depend on trees. Birds depend on trees. Birds depend on trees. They fly in line to eat and dine. Birds depend on trees. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to sing it one more time and I'm going to do some movements. And I want you to think about, I want you to touch your nose every time you hear an animal and what they depend on the tree for. Okay. We depend on trees. We depend on trees. We eat nuts and chocolates. We depend on trees. Caterpillars depend on trees. Caterpillars depend on trees. They munch on leaves just as they please. Caterpillars depend on trees. Deer depend on trees. Deer depend on trees. They feed on bark in day or dark. Deer depend on trees. Squirrels depend on trees. Squirrels depend on trees. They scarf down seeds and nuts with ease. Squirrels depend on trees. Birds depend on trees. Birds depend on trees. They fly in line to eat and dine. Birds depend on trees. Okay, so we're gonna sing that a couple times uh, in the other lessons, but I want you guys to think about all of those animals that I just said to you and what they depend on a tree for, okay? All righty, so we're gonna look at this chart that I made and I'm actually gonna share with you on my screen other animals that I couldn't fit on my own chart, okay? so. I made a beautiful chart for you for all the animals that we talked about from our book, Be a Friend to Trees. And I couldn't fit some on my chart, so I'm gonna share with you another chart and you're gonna actually see it, okay? So first things first, let's get close to this chart. Wowzers, this is craziness. I want you guys to see it. All right, so here we go. First animal there is a koala. And he leaves from a tree okay so it says the animal it says what he needs it for he eats and he eats leaves moving down my next one is bird a bird eats and right over here seeds from a tree okay then we have mr caterpillar mr caterpillar eats what does he eat from the tree Oh, he eats leaves from the tree. Moving on down. I fit the B on this. I fit the letter B in my chart. And he eats, what does he eat? He eats the flowers or he eats the nectar from a tree. And then my last one that I fit on here was a squirrel. And my squirrel eats, what does he eat? He eats nuts from a tree. Okay? So that's the chart that I made. I'm gonna go through it one more time. You don't have to see it, but I'll just go down the list. We have a koala. He depends on a tree. He eats leaves from a tree. A bird, Mr. Birdie, 
flying in the air, beautiful Mr. Birdie. He eats seeds from a tree. Mr. Caterpillar, remember, he's crawling along there. He eats leaves from a tree. The buzz, buzz, buzz bee, he eats the flowers from the tree. And lastly on my chart, I have Mr. Squirrel. Mr. Squirrel eats nuts from a tree, okay? So I'm actually gonna share to you another, on my screen, I'm gonna share to you another chart that I have. See this beautiful chart up here? Okay, so I, we did koalas. Koalas depend on the leaves to eat. Oh, we forgot Mr. Giraffe. Mr. Giraffe depends on leaves for the tree, even though he doesn't live in a tree, um, but he uses that tree for the leaves. Mr. Squirrel, oh, I put Mr. Squirrel up there. He depends on some acorns, some nuts. I have my bee, my buzz, buzz, buzz bee. He depends on the flower. And did, hold on one minute. Sorry. And my birdie over here, I put my birdie up there. He depends on the seeds of a tree. Mr. Elephant, I forgot Mr. Elephant. I didn't put him on my chart back here. He depends on the leaves of a tree. And Mr. Porcupine. Mr. Porcupine doesn't eat the leaves, friends. I know some of you wrote um, in your things that he, he eats the leaves. He actually doesn't eat the leaves. He eats the bark. So the whole trunk of the tree, the bottom part of a tree, he eats the inside of the bark. Okay? So let's click back. Okay, so I can prepare to write notes to show how animals depend on trees for food. Okay, so you remember the booklets that we made um, a couple days ago for how people depend on trees? You guys are actually gonna make booklets for the animals that depend on trees. But before we even get there, before we even make booklets, we're not making booklets today. We're not making booklets tomorrow. We're trying to, we're gonna make our notes first. So when you, before you write something, you always have to make notes, okay? So there are so many animals that we just talked about. There are so, there's so much information that I just gave you, okay? I want you to take a moment, close your eyes. Close your eyes for one minute and think. You're gonna pick three animals, three, okay? Three animals. Three animals that we talked about that depend on trees for food. Okay? Three animals. Think about it while we're eye while our eyes are closed. Think about the three animals that you want to write about. Okay? Now, we're not gonna write whole sentences. We're not gonna write um we're not gonna write sentences, we're not gonna do our booklets, we're just gonna brainstorm. Brainstorm means we're gonna think of some notes, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you guys are gonna do it, all right? I'll be right back, I'm gonna show you with my paper. because This is gonna be our assignment today. Just hold on one minute, I'll be right there. Okay. Here I am. Okay. So you're going to take a piece of paper. It could be any piece of paper. You could hold it this way. You could hold it this way. However you would like. And you're going to um, split it into three. You're going to cut it into three ways. All right. So you're going to have three different sections on your paper. Okay. Because you're picking three different animals. Okay. So here we are. Three sections on your paper. One, two, three. Okay. And for example, Miss Ewan is going to pick a squirrel. I'm going to pick a porcupine. And I'm going to pick a bird. So those are the three animals that Miss Ewan wants to learn, like write about. She wants to write about these three animals a squirrel, a porcupine, and a bird. All right, your job on this paper is to draw a picture of them. 
of the three animals you're going to write about and not just a picture of them. I don't want you to write a sentence. I don't want you to write a booklet. I just want you to separate out your paper like this. These are like your notes. You're going to draw me a squirrel here, or you're going to draw whatever three animals. You don't have to pick the same three animals as me. Do not copy Miss Ewan. So you are picking three animals we talked about. Remember, there are tons of them. You're going to draw me a picture of each of the animals you pick. And then you're going to draw what food it eats from a tree. Okay? So if I have a squirrel, I'm going to draw my squirrel. And I'm going to look at my chart over here. See my chart with the squirrel on the bottom here. Oh, I know that he eats nuts. So here I am. I'm going to draw my squirrel with his lovely tail and his beautiful. Here's my squirrel. There's my squirrel, guys. There's my squirrel. And I'm going to then draw a nut because we know that he loves nuts. He loves acorns. Okay. So those are my notes. If you want to try to write the name of the animal or the food it eats, I will give you bonus points. All right. I will give you blue dots. So try really hard, my friends, to write a word with your picture. Not a sentence, just a word, because these are just notes. Notes are like short, short little thoughts that you have, okay? So if I try to write the word nuts, now I know how to spell nuts because I have all the strategies. I'm gonna tap it out. Mm, uh, well, so n is n, uh is u, t is t, and is x. So I know the word nuts. So I just labeled my picture, okay? All you have to do. Then the next thing is, oh, a porcupine. Now, Miss Ewan doesn't have a porcupine on this chart, but we had a porcupine on this chart, okay? So I'm going to look here, and I'm going to see, okay, porcupine. Oh, I remember porcupines like to eat the bark of the tree. So let me draw my porcupine. He's a spiky little guy. Por porcupines have lots of spikes on them. You can't touch porcupines because they might hurt you, okay? So here's my porcupine. He's got spikes all over. All right, here we go. And he's got kind of a long snout here. And here is his legs. And oh, and the porcupine, he doesn't eat the leaves of the tree. He doesn't eat seeds. He doesn't eat the flowers. He eats the bark. So he eats the bottom part of the tree. Oh, interesting. That's the base of the tree. So he eats the inside parts of the tree. Okay, so here we go. Here's my porcupine, and here is the trunk or the base of the tree because he eats the bark. All right, so now I'm going to try and spell one of the words. Hmm, bark. B R, so B R, that's an R, and K, it's a K. So I just tried to spell the word bark. Now remember, I'm trying to be a kindergartner just like you. So I'm not gonna spell all the words right, okay? So I want you to try your best, bark. And the last animal I picked that I'm gonna write about is a bird. Now, let me draw my birdie, my beautiful, beautiful birdie. Okay, here we go. Here's his two legs on the bottom. And here is his wing down here. And here's his body. And then Miss Ewan gets a little, a little hard to make his head on top. Okay, at least we did a little bit better. There's my bird. He looks like a duck, but hey. And the birds eat, let me remember, oh, they eat the seeds from the tree. So all the seeds that drop from like the, the leaves and stuff, they eat the seeds. And I'm gonna show you the picture. There's my bird, looks like a duck, but it's a bird. And there are my seeds, and I'm gonna try and spell the word seeds. E, D, okay? So I'm gonna try and spell the word seeds, and I did. There's my word seeds. 
So this is your assignment for today. This is your EL assignment, okay? I went over the chart. We talked about some of the animals that we just learned about um, from be a friend to trees, what they depend on from a tree, so all the animals and what they eat from a tree. And I want you to pick three. Now these three animals are going to be the animals that you make your booklets from. Okay, so I want them to be animals that you really, really like and really want to draw and talk about, all right? So I picked my three. You're going to separate your paper into three like Miss Ewan did, and you're going to draw your animal, and you're going to draw what they eat from a tree, okay? So that is your EL assignment for the day. And I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see all the animals that you guys have figured out um, or that you want to write about, okay? And now if we were in class, Miss Ewan would do this silly game called charades. I would like dance around and make you try and guess what animal I'm talking about. But you know what? I'm gonna do a few for you because why not? Why, why wouldn't I, I do a few for you? All right, so, and again, if we were in class, we would do this pinky partners. We would talk about what we're learning, but because we're distant and we can't touch each other and we can't talk to each other, um, you guys can share with me what you come up with with your notes okay so i'll do a few charades though i'll do a few of these okay here's the first riddle or the first guess i flap my wings and i eat the seeds of a tree hmm what am i do do let's guess i flap my wings and i eat the seeds of a tree huh <gasps> Is it a bird? It's a bird. You're right. It's up here, my little birdie. Here he is. He eats the seeds of a tree. Okay, I'll do one more and then I gotta go. Let's see. Okay, he is fluffy. He could be brown, black, or gray. He usually eats like this. And he eats the nuts of a tree. Who is he? Who is it? Do you think you know? Let me see. A what? A what? I can't hear. A squirrel! Yup, that's it. That's a squirrel. Okay, so we would play that game if we were in school, but yeah. So, all right. I hope you guys have fun with this. Think of your three animals you're going to write about. Draw them. Draw what they eat from a tree. Send it to me on Zojo. And that's your EL um, content assignment for the day. I'll see you guys in a little while.